hi i'm mindy welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you my tbr for june and i have a lot of really great books picked out that i can't wait to read so let me share them with you i have books for a lot of different reasons first i have my book for the buzzwordathon hosted by Books and Lala, and the prompt for the buzzword athon is Other, a book with Other in the title. So I'm going to be reading Other Terrors. This is an anthology, an inclusive anthology. And this is a Horror Writers Association anthology. And it has uh, Tananarive Du. S.A. Cosby, Stephen Graham Jones, um, which are all favorite authors of mine. So I'm looking forward to that. Then I am finally going to read The Night Swim by Megan Golden. I have loved every one of Megan Golden's books that I've read so far, which is only two so far, but I have yet to read The Night Swim, and I know I'm going to love it. And I want to read it in June because in July, I'm going to be reading her new book in this series that's coming out soon. Uh, I have the arc for Dark Corners, which is book two for this series, so I... Can't wait to get started on this. I know Megan Golden is not going to, not going to let me down. I love her thrillers so much. And another event happening in June is June on the Range, hosted by Michael K. Vaughn. And I'm going to finish my book that I picked out for last year's June on the Range, which was Lonesome Dove by Larry McMurtry, and I have very, very few pages left to go. I think only, well, let's see, six, less than 200 pages, so that's pretty good. I am going to finish this for June on the Range, and this is a book for my 40 books to read before I turn 40, so this is going to work for that as well as a few others. I am going to try to finish all of my big honkin' chonkers that I have started for my 40 before 40 list that I never finished. This is one of them, but there's more. I'm also going to try to finish The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss for the 40 before 40 challenge, as well as Les Miserables by Victor Hugo and Swan Song by Robert R. McCammon. All of these I gave a very good try of reading at one point and they were just too long to get through in a month. But now is the time to make a lot of progress on them, hopefully. But I do have some other books that I need to read as well. I have three ARCs that I need to read in June because their published dates are coming up quick. And they are really, really exciting stories. So I can't wait to get started on these. The first one is Boys in the Valley by Philip Fricassi, a horror novel which will be coming out in July 11th, I think. And then Dead of Winter by Darcy Coates, which is her, she's her slasher story. I love Darcy Coates. It, funnily, funnily enough, I have not read any of her ghost stories, which is what she's known for. And now I'm gonna be picking up her slasher story. Who figure? But I do have a bunch of her 
ghost stories too. I will get to them eventually. But I have loved all of the Darcy Coates books I've read so far. And finally, I'll be reading Blade of Dream by Daniel Abraham, which is the second book in the Kithamar trilogy. And uh, the first book was Age of Ash, which I have a full review of from last year, I think. I'll have that linked down below if you want to find out more about that series. It is a fantasy series taking place in the city of Kithamar. Okay, so that is the, the six physical books and the three e-arcs that I'll be reading or hopefully reading in June, but I also have some audiobooks picked out because they work perfectly for group reads. And the first audiobook I hope to listen to is Nettle and Bone by T. King Fisher. I'm a new Teen King Fisher fan, but I haven't read any of her fantasy yet, so I'm going to give Nettle and Bone a try. And this is the group read pick for Creatures, Creatures Everywhere on Goodreads, hosted by Tyler J. And let's see, the second pick is Curse of the Reaper by Brian McGauley, which I think is a slasher. Actually, I'm not sure, but... Uh, that is for the Dark Hearts book club, and then, um, I'll be listening to Hearts in Atlantis by Stephen King, which is for the Stephen King read-along, hosted by Fiber Artsy, and, um, I will have all the channels of hosts and things I've talked about in this video all linked down below so you can check out those channels they're all amazing and that is everything I hope to read in June I think that's 12 books some of them are very long but at least I already have some progress in them already, so I'm not reading the whole thing. So, what do you think of the books I have picked out to read in June? Are you participating in Buzzwordathon or June on the Range? I'd love to hear about what you are most excited about reading for those. And I will be back very soon with another book-related video. Thanks. Bye.